I made this simple drill press table around nine years ago, and I've been using it ever since. But I didn't make a build video for it, and over the time I've been using it, I've discovered a few improvements that I can make to it, but still keeping it very basic and simple. That's the key feature of this one, just how simple it is. So the first thing that I need, of course, is the new top, and I'm going to be using three-quarter inch Balti Birch plywood to make that, just like the old one. I'm actually going to make it slightly bigger than the original, and I've also got a couple of other changes that I want to do, and that includes getting rid of the insert in the middle. What I found from using this over the years is that I never change that insert. Instead, whenever I'm doing any drilling, I use an auxiliary piece on top that I'll drill into. And again, like the old one, I'm just gonna clip off the corners so that, you know, you're not walking into anything sharp. With that done, and before I do anything else, I need to get the old one taken off and position a new one in place on top of the metal table. Now's a good time to check to make sure that the metal table is square and proper. And I've got a piece of half inch rod that I've put in the drill to check that. And this looks pretty good, so no adjustment needed. And I wanna position this so that it's almost touching the column at the back and centered and squared up on the table. When I'm happy with the placement, I can reach underneath and draw a line around. And I'll use those marks to locate where the bolts are gonna go. And when I have that marked, I'll flip it over. And what I'm doing here is I'm gluing on blocks on the front and back. With those two blocks put on, I can test the fit to make sure it's right. It should slip on there nice and snug and not have any front to back play. And this looks good. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to line up the holes for the carriage bolts that go through the top and clamp the top down to the metal table. While I'm at it, I'm going to get the hole drilled in the middle as well. Now to install these carriage bolts, I like to get a little bit of glue underneath the head. And this is optional. If you're going to just put the table on and leave it on there, then there's not much point doing this. The taller locator blocks have notches in the side that go around the carriage bolt. And then I'm going to use the carriage bolt plus a washer and nut to clamp those in place until it dries. Another thing that I want to change about the original is that it was a little bit difficult to clamp parts close to where you're drilling. So these two holes that I'm drilling here will fix that. I'll be able to put clamps down inside here and get it closer to where I'm drilling. With the glue dried on the taller locator blocks, I can once again put the table in position and see how it fits. And here I can see I'm a little bit snug, so I'm going to trim a little bit off with a chisel and then try again. And at this point, the top is finished and I can get it put in place. I'm going to use those same fender washers, but wing nuts this time to make it easy to take it off. The next phase of the build is to get the fence put together. And here I've got the sub fence and I made mine from pine, although you can use two layers of half inch plywood. And I'm going to glue the face parts to that, starting with the ones on the tall side. I'm driving in pins to keep the parts lined up, and I'm also checking the space between the parts to make sure that that quarter inch T-bolt fits in there. Okay. 
I did the same for the short side, got it clamped up, and set it aside to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to work on the parts that clamp it to the table. And these are pretty basic. The only thing is they're small. So resist the urge to cut them like this. What I like to do is start with longer stock and then cut the piece off the end. The parts that you're watching me make now are not actually the ones that I used. I wound up making the parts wider and changed that in the plans. Plans for this and many other projects are available on my website. There's a link in the description that will take you right there. What I like about this fence is that it's double-sided. It has a short side and a tall side if you need more support. And also it just slips right on from the front or the back, which is handy if you have something set up and you can't remove the bit or move the table. You can still get the fence in place and continue drilling. I didn't bother to put any finish on the original, but I'm going to on the new one. And of course this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to but it will keep the table and fence looking clean. If you want to build one of these yourself, there are plans available on my website. There's a link in the description, click it, and it will take you right there.